day one of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. Let's see how this goes. Sure, when you uh, arrive to grab your passport, well, you can keep track of all of the things. You know, we're at Food and Wine, we haven't even had any food. We're riding rides. Okay. Yeah, the food's not going anywhere. Mission Space. I think we're going easy peasy, not so queasy with the Earth mission. Follow the markings on the floor to your next turn train and begin boarding now. Kielbasa and potato pierogies? That sounds really awesome. Frozen s'mores. You want some kielbasa and potato pierogies? Yum! My first food and wine, comfort food for us, really, is uh, some kielbasa sausage and a couple of pierogies. Did you have some? Pierogi. My house. Good. It's a decent pierogi. Yeah. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. <laughs> hey, guys. Food and wine is here. I bet it's your favorite time. But I don't have anything for you. Sorry. Just, you may go about your little ducky business. Earth Eats. We've got uh, some... Ooh, wine bray short ribs. That sounds really good. Maybe we should uh, give that a try. Well, uh, because of the thunder and lightning that was in the area, they couldn't bring in enough stock, is what they told us. So they didn't have any short ribs, which is like the main thing that they have. And they didn't have it. Uh, so, heck with it. We're just going to go ride Little Flint. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce powerful harvests now and into the future. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. Ways to increase food production and protect a precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. We're back at Earth Eats. I think they have the short ribs again. All right. So we are having the short ribs. They look absolutely delicious. This is from Earth Eats. We're also having the blood orange agua fresca. Looks delicious. So good. So tender. Oh. Yeah, I love short ribs. Here's the aqua fresca. It's really good. Not overly sweet. A little bit sour. But orangey. Yeah, really good. 
super refreshing. So we're at Flavors From a Fire. It's a returning booth, been too many times. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try some new stuff. If you wear it like this, it's way easier to tap. It's a pro tip right there. Char is patient, patiently holding our garbage can. It's hot. Hot day. Because it's the first day, lines are pretty long. So you probably figure a good 15, 20 minutes per booth. Always make sure you bring your patients from the first day of food and wine. They are really, really busy. Everyone wants the same thing, which is the blended burger, the truffley goodness. This is our garbage can. So we have arugula on the bottom. There's like a truffle sauce. It's blended beef. Blended with? Uh, mushrooms, wild mushrooms. And a chipper. And a top. chip. All right. And some kind of cheese. Really good? Mmm. Mm. Very good. Mm. Truffly. I like the arugula. It's peppery. Everything's a nice one. Mmm. I really like the chip. Just, the chip added a nice a little crunch. Very good. Yeah, flavors from fire is always always a good spot. So we're going to try the stuff here in Australia, the grilled bushberry spiced shrimp skewer. The lamb, the lamb chop looks good too, but I'm going to try the shrimp. They look really messy. Very messy, very tasty. Mm. Spicy and sweet, <laughs> delicious. It's dripping. But very drippy. The shrimp are delicious. Messy, but delicious. Here's the peas. Mm. Really nice, very fresh. Tostada de camarón, flata de barbacoa, and pan. Oh, traditional Mexican cornbread topped with chocolate sauce. Mm. Tempura buttered shrimp. Actually, that 
Oh, the polo sounds really good. Mango sunrise margaritas sound really, really, really good. Actually. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. It's like that one in the buffalo. Oh, we should have got a knife. The barbacoa. Mmm. Really crunchy. Nice flavor. Here's some of the greens. It's good with the cheese and the cilantro. Mm. It's a winner. Yeah, that's a good one. They didn't have the mango margarita over at the Mexico booth, but here at uh, Cosa de Margarita, they always have margaritas. What do you think? It's very boozy. I was just about to say, I love the taste of tequila. It enhances the flavor. But I don't know if you agree. Mm. I do love it. But it always reminds me of uh, Blue Bayou. We should eat here sometime. Someday. Not today. I don't think it's going to be today. No. in fine form today. I mean, I love tequila, I love Disney. I've never been to a... uh, La Cava de Tequila. I don't know. Someday. Not today. You do that. India. Chicken tiki masala. Potato pea samosa. Let's try the tiki masala. It's 100 degrees. Of course you want some chicken tiki masala. Thank you. Chicken tikka masala. I actually heard that this dish did not originate in India. It actually originated in Scotland. Like it's a Scottish Indian dish. I don't know if that's true. If you know if that's a fact, leave a comment. But I'm gonna give it a try. Really good. It's actually very mild. Not very spicy. Although I have a high spice tolerance. It's really good. Nice. It's quick comfort food. And she remains drinking the mango lassi, which is like a yogurt mango drink. What do you think? So refreshing. Yeah? So good. Please save me some. Please save me some. get one thing. Get that mango lassi. Yummy. I don't know if this is good. Watermelon Dole Whip. This isn't really a food and wine thing, but 
we spotted it. And I actually, I wanted to. Stay on the right side of the walkway, please. If you choose to wait, please stay on the right or hang out by any nearby shaded areas, please. I don't know what's going on. Tell them this to the right. I don't know what that means. Anyways, I don't know if this is a new thing or not, but it's a watermelon Dole Whip. I wanted to try it. Oh, I see the bridge. The bridge just opened. We just we just made it through. We didn't even know. What do you think? It's really different. Yeah, it's different. I like it though. Yeah. Very refreshing. It's different. Yeah. The ham raclette. Ham and Swiss raclette. Mm. Melty Swiss cheese. Ham. Baguette. How could you possibly go wrong? Fancy ham and cheese. Mm -hmm. Sweet Kirkins. France is a very popular booth. It's a super long line. We're gonna say no for today. We're kind of full, anyways. Like, really full. Today, sweetie. I like that. Comes with a dust bag. Pardon me? Comes with a dust bag. A dust bag. Oh. How much is it? Three hundred dollars. Well, that's what you need—a new apron. <laughs> new friend. You, you think too much for Buddy? <laughs> He's gonna be inappropriate with it. It's funny how much uh, candies from the UK are very similar to candies in. Canada, very not, not perfectly. We can get we can get walkers all over the place and bounty bars. One of my favorites. It's a telephone teapot. The train teapot. Yeah, they have cherries here. Huh. I love a good cherries chocolate orange. They never have the Cadbury Turkish Delights. You can always find the fries. Cadbury's are way better. Mm, that's awesome. 35. It's true. Nobody expects a Spanish Inquisition. That's pretty good. It's true. Bicker and argue over who killed who. Cheddar bacon soup, they always have, and the filet mignon, they always have. It's it's good. But I think we're I think we're full. It's the next day. We totally forgot to film an outro. Typical. We're stuffed and overheated and exhausted. But we had a really good time at Food and Wine. We got to ride the rides we got to eat a whole bunch of really good food what was your favorite thing oh everything was actually really good the uh, short ribs were really good a little salty but um, still pretty good um, I really like the um, barbacoa yeah it was like a 
It was like a burrito, but not really. It was like a chimichanga almost, like because it was fried and crispy. It was really good. I'd say my favorite was that shrimp. I keep thinking about it. It was super messy, but it was really, really tasty. That was probably my favorite. And that burger. burger was Yeah, the burger was really good. It was really good. Um, was it worth the wait? Because we were there for a good 20, 25 minutes. Eh, I don't know about that. But, I mean, it's food and wine. It was the It's day one. Pack your patience. Yeah. So, I mean, even in the first couple weeks, pack your patience because it's it's new for everybody so including the people who work there but all in all we had a really really good time think we'll go back we will definitely be going back before we have to go home thanks for watching everybody see you next time from the holy moly uh -huh.